Hey everyone, this is Elias from Refmatch Media, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Now, I know we've reviewed Silverados before, but with this one, it's a little bit different. The beauty is literally interior deep, um, but it doesn't look that bad outside either. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So we get started in the front and we can see it's a very Chevy front end. And with these LED headlights on the front, uh, you really see a, a lot. Even though they're a small package, they definitely pack a good amount of, of light power. Uh, so I do like that. I do like that kind of like, uh, uh, I guess backwards C you get with this uh, turn signal there. Uh, we do have some openings here um, for uh, I guess our dynamics help out with, with turbulence with the air. Uh, we do have this nice big grill. We do have some chrome accents on it with this being the high country trim. Uh, and speaking about chrome, we do have chrome recovery hooks, which are really nice. Uh, and a little bit of chrome trim down here. Um, yeah, overall, it's not a bad looking front end. Uh, one thing I do notice though is there's a massive amount of space between the grill and the radiator. So speaking about that, uh, let's go ahead and and take a look at what we have under the hood. We get under the hood and we have the 6.2 liter Ecotec 3 V8 engine. It is cranking out 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. That is connected to the 10-speed auto and then to the Chevy 4x4 system. Now, even though this is a massive V8 under here, there is still a ton of space under here. Uh, and couple of things the power delivery is there it's instant naturally aspirated no waiting for turbos or anything like that it's extremely smooth as well very linear no issues there transmission was shifting great really no complaint with this power powertrain as far as power delivery um, fuel economy obviously if you baby it it'll reward you if you don't it'll reward you <laughs> so either way it's a win-win situation uh, because this actually sounds pretty mean. And uh, once you get it going, this thing can really get going. Uh, so yeah, it's been a, a great power plant to have in this big guy. Now, speaking about big, let's go ahead and take a look at those wheels and tires. We get down to the wheel and tire package and we have a nice 20 inch wheel design on here. It is in kind of that gray uh, silver color um, or that gunmetal color. Uh, they are wrapped in the 27560 Bridgestone tire and these things have been really good uh, very quiet on on you know everyday streets and uh here when <laughs> we kind of got to this little gravel area uh it wasn't bad it, it didn't have any issues with with getting this uh so the other thing the massive improvement with this is definitely the front suspension um i don't know if something has been reworked for the later 2022 model uh, but this suspension is completely different or it feels completely different a couple of things this feels like an air suspension without the air suspension issues you know leaking bags uh compressor issues uh you know those things that you normally encounter with airbag suspension but it has all the benefits super smooth ride um dampening that's really really good uh it's just a really great performing front suspension for a truck it does not drive like a truck which was one of the biggest things that with the silverado i wanted to like it with the other models i don't know if it's maybe the bigger engine or what the case is because we did um review the diesel but this has been incredible i, I don't know what has been done to, to really change this but thank you chevy you guys nailed it and the brakes too the brake pedal you guys fixed it I, I don't know if it's fixed or or i just gotten used to it but no it's definitely fixed it definitely is fixed in the sense that i don't have to put a massive amount of pressure to really get you know any feedback or, or to get any any braking to actually happen so it's not a super stiff stiff pedal it's a perfect pedal really with this and the braking was really good especially getting uh this big guy stopped um but yeah that was the biggest surprise with this that suspension and those brakes worked perfect well let's go ahead and see what we have on the side we get to the side and this truck has a nice profile a couple of things that color dark ash metallic <laughs> yeah 
it is really, really nice. It's like a gray, it's like a purple, it has some bluish look to it, it has some green sparkle, it looks black. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really beautiful color. It reminds me of the, I, I wanna say it's like Midnight Blue uh, from Chevy that we had in the Tahoe, I believe. Um, that was spectacular because it had like all these different shades of the uh, blue and, and black kind of thing. But yeah, it looks really, really good. I love the color. So let's get started in the front. We have those big wheels and tires. Uh, we can see we have a good amount still of of area in the wheel well there uh, for a little bit of off-road fun. Uh, we have that massive high country uh, badging right in there. And let's talk about these mirrors. These mirrors have been extremely good. Reason why is because they are a little bit longer than they are taller. So we get the benefit of two things. We get the benefit of you being able to see a little bit further towards your blind spot and the fact that it is not in the way of maybe a blind spot or, you know, that you have here in case, you know, there's a pedestrian walking by. So I like that it's not such a tall thing that it, it gives you a blind spot. So this design has been really good. I've loved the fact that it is a little bit longer uh, than, you know, wider than it is taller. My wife noticed it as well when she was driving. She goes, yeah, it was, it was great because I was able to see a little bit further out and, and make sure that no one was in my blind spot when I went to go um, change lanes. It does have the, the lane assist, so it does give you the, the notification anyways. And we do have the camera, which is part of that uh, HD surround vision that the uh, Chevy has that looks really, really good. Uh, and yeah, when we get inside, I'll, I'll show you why it looks even better with this specific model. So we have that. Uh, we do have a little bit of chrome here with this being the high country. Uh, we do have the crew cab and this is a short bed. So this is the short bed version, but not to worry. There's a couple of things. Uh, one thing I keep forgetting with uh, the multi-pro tailgate, which we'll get into, but definitely it's it's a nice looking truck. I do like the look to it. Now I have the key fob in my hand. I'll go ahead and put it in my pocket and I go to reach and it does not give me the option to open, but it does have a little chrome button there. So just a matter of pushing it and I can go ahead and open and it opens up. It also gives me the deployable step, uh, which is nice till uh, you kind of step on it. And again, Chevy, you guys have been answering or, or fixing all the little things that I've been uh, kind of wanting to get fixed with this, but this is still kind of, yeah. And I'll tell you why it does that movement. So it does have a little bit of play there, um, but we'll go ahead and close this off and uh, we can go ahead and lock that with the button. And I go to open from the back and it's not going to open. So you do have to kind of press the front and then you're able to open. Again though, we have the deployable step that is gonna have some play in it. So just be aware of that. Now, the reason why it has that play is because, so I'll let it go ahead and, and go in. There is a button here that you can push and it will kick it out back. So when it kicks it out back, now I, I am able to kind of step here and get into the bed. So yeah, it has that advantage uh, over other side steps from other trucks, but honestly, yeah, it, it's, a big, it's a big thing when uh, you wanna make sure that everything is super stable. Now, it, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not that it's gonna move or anything. I, for my safety, I, I don't like that little step to kind of jiggle a little bit there but let's go ahead and see what we have in back. We get to the back and yeah, we have a truck bed. There really isn't super, like anything that's super exciting about this rear, but yeah, there, there's room for improvement. One of them is the taillights. I wish the outer uh, plastic were transparent because there's some cool uh, kind of design elements in there that would have definitely benefited or, or looked better if that were transparent and maybe that inner element we're shining red essentially. Um, but yeah, we have that. Um, the other thing, we have the bumper 
we have those cutouts in the on the side on both sides so you are able to go ahead and step into the truck and not have to worry about you know if you favor one leg over the other you have both options there which is a nice little touch there we have our tow hookups down here at the bottom uh, for camera as well as um, you know the, the trailer brake setup that this has we also have the tow tow hitch area down here uh, which is good and again we have the tailgate uh, this tailgate is probably one of my favorites if not yeah I, I want to say this is definitely my favorite tailgate so a couple of things with this we push the top button because there's two little buttons there and we get the top half down I like this because this gives you a nice good work surface um, and it's at a good height the 2500 uh, GMC Sierra it was a little bit on the taller side so just be aware of that uh, or if you get this and you're gonna want to raise it or, or lift it um, you are gonna have that height difference there so yeah we have that and we'll go ahead and close this we'll open up the bigger one and when we open up the bigger one we have the truck bed so this does have the uh, bed liner in here which is a nice touch and this is the one i always with the multi pro i always forget this little aspect you do this and it lets you actually raise this little part and it essentially is is giving you uh maybe a foot or two more um, but it gives you that much more uh of length in case you go with the short bed but still need the long length obviously make sure you secure all your all your cargo correctly but yeah we do have that which is a nice little touch so we close that off and then we push that other button there and we have this so this lets me actually go in a little bit further when i am trying to maybe load up something that's a little bit heavier or i want to make sure that i i completely reach the back of the uh, truck bed or the front really uh, so we have that and then again we have this guy here where you can go ahead and um, essentially just really sit on it. If you just want to have a, a seat, uh, you're tailgating or you're just out enjoying the wilderness uh, or, you know, off-roading. So it, it is a nice touch. So the only thing with this, though, is that it is a little bit of a process to kind of get things closed. And it is a little bit on the heavier side. So just be aware. Uh, it's not like other tailgates that you can push with one button and or with one finger really and get it up or with one button like yeah some forwards that have the closing and opening you can do it with the key fob as well so you do have the option of opening up the tailgate pressing it twice and it comes down so it is a nice little touch uh, for that but again it is a little bit on the heavier side than maybe other tailgates because of that multi um, functioning or yeah multi-pro function out of it. So the other thing with the key fob, we go ahead and press the button twice. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, that big V8 is roaring. So let's go ahead and go for a ride. We get inside of the 2022 Silverado and all I can say is upgrades. This thing has been really properly upgraded. So let's get started on some of the things. So with the door, uh, it is nice and comfortable. We do have a nice comfortable positioned armrest. It's nice leather. Uh, we do have some wood trim and we do have that blue color. So this is actually a blue, uh, like a dark blue leather or just a dark blue color. And it looks really, really good. It, I like the fact that it's, it's not black, but it's not a very bright color. So it's, it's a nice blue shade. Now, the next thing are the seats. These things are extremely comfortable. You know, you paid a little bit of premium for the high country. You're gonna get to tell people you have the high country right there on the headrest. It is, like I said, they're very comfortable seats, heated, vented, so the works really. Adjustability is really great. You can really find that sweet spot uh, if you want to. Um, so, and you have two, two settings to program uh, for you and someone else. But yeah, this is a really, really nice uh, seat. And yeah, long hauls or long road trips, not a problem with this. Then we get to the steering wheel and the steering wheel is nice and big. So it definitely uh, has a premium feel to it. Very similar to any GM uh, like SUV or, or pickup truck um, steering wheel. So 
but for some reason i think this has a little bit of a more premium leather or at least it feels that way um, but again that blue that really dark dark blue uh, but it does feel comfortable we do have the buttons in the back for volume and next track and we do have uh, again my annoyance i still have it with the top button not actually being a button but you're needing to use the actual wheels and but the left and right buttons are actually buttons so yeah still still not not there 100 percent, but we're getting there now here comes the part that was a massive upgrade the gauge cluster we're full digital now we're full digital and that allowed for a ton of customizing uh to be done uh, right now i have mine set up to the two dial configuration and on the left i have my uh, psi for my tires and on the right i have my fuel economy uh, I mean, you could really, really, oh, and in the middle, I have just my speedometer, uh, even though I don't need to because there's other ways we can get the speed. But overall, this thing has been incredible, you know, with the uh, with the different layouts that, you know, you, you can choose and play around with. I, if I were hauling, I have the transmission fluid there. Uh, I have the, you know, the drive mode of compass time and temperature uh tire pressure which we have on the other fuel economy which is what i had it so yeah i am loving this new gauge cluster this is what this truck needed everyone else <laughs> you know everyone else in the gm line was getting it and uh this was the one that really really you know would benefit from it so we have that and then we get to the heads-up display and the heads-up display is nice and clear it's nice and big uh right now i do have it in the kind of off-road mode uh so i can do just speedometer and the speed limit i can do um the uh, proximity you know for cruise control kind of thing and i can also do the map or my route that i'm doing but i'm gonna go ahead and keep it on the off-road kind of settings so we have that then we get to the even bigger upgrade and when i talk about big i mean big the massive screen that was extremely long overdue now i'm glad that you know even though other companies have big screens i feel like horizontal is definitely the way to go i i like ram's big vertical screen but i feel like beneficial it's more beneficial to have it on a wider aspect and this coming from my neighbor that is a ram owner he's <laughs> he sat in this he sat in the ford f-150 and he's gone wow i wish my screen were actually longer more than it is taller but yeah this screen is massive right now we are using the google maps uh to take us to uh the texas motor speedway because we are actually going to a uh uh, Chevy C10 show yeah to think we're taking this which is what it evolved into to that show yeah so it was very easy to set up you literally tell tell it where you want to go you say H-E-Y I'll put it there um, so I don't activate it but it was simple usually others I'm having to type in you know that or the system doesn't recognize you no this is really really good and it was very intuitive because you just said it and it did it so it is a nice thing to do i think i may want to even use this over the apple carplay yeah it's it's that good the only thing i think it is missing is a hard button for the camera uh so you do still have to kind of go into uh different settings to to get your uh cameras going I believe you can put it on on the on the kind of main bar here, but yeah, a, a hard button would be nice. Just kind of like when we get in the Yukon um, model. But yeah, it's been really really good. Let me go back to the map, and it's clear. Only thing is, it is a little it is a little bit on the slower side, so I do see kind of little uh, processing. Uh, I guess configure a uh, slowness so to speak so it does kind of jitter a bit for the maps what i do love about this is because we now have such a massive display we can split this so i can have my music on the right from my apple carplay and my maps coming from google or the built-in system itself so yes 
finally and the camera system that i love so much looks clear it looks clear well i mean it looked clear before but it looks bigger now i can see things so yeah definitely a big plus then we come over here to the row of buttons and there's a couple of things so we have lane departure parking um you know perimeter kind of thing uh we have the uh, auto start off the tailgate a hazard traction control and then this massive button here so i'm gonna go ahead and press it and because i think this is probably the best time uh so you press this button and probably not the best time but it's all windows down and yeah you're halfway there because now i have to actually pull i can pull up the front too with the full auto up and auto down but the back i have to hold yeah i know it, it's a I know I'm nitpicking, but when you give me that, give me up as well. Sometimes up is more important than down. Um, but yeah, so you're halfway there. Uh, I am going to kind of knock it because, yeah, not everyone has that. It's a nice, cool thing because I can just, bam, hit it and all windows down. But it would be nice to get them to come back up on one button touch as well. But it's pretty cool, uh, especially right now when we are... Uh, Gosh, I don't see the temperature here. Uh, oh, I, sh I, I can change it on my thing. But it's very hot. And, you know, when you need it to cool down, just go ahead and, and kind of vent the whole truck. Um, it's a nice little touch there. Then we come down to the AC controls. And very simple, very straightforward. We have for the, for the seats venting and for the heating elements, we have our trailer brake here as well. Um, but, yeah, overall, a nice, nice, huge upgrade to this this is exactly what this needed um, in the uh, chevy silverado so definitely loving the fact that we finally got this and then we come a little bit lower and we have a massive amount of like little cubby holes so in the front we do have a big area uh, that you can put your phone in there uh, we do have the apple we have the wired connection usb-c usb-a um, and then we do have in the middle, we have, uh, I don't know, maybe like a smaller slit. We have the cup holders on the side here. Uh, we have another little area here, maybe for the key is a good area. The shifter is nice and comfortable, nice and big. Um, it definitely has a good feel to them. Now, I mentioned the cable, but there really isn't a need for the cable because in here, uh, in front, literally in front of the armrest, there is a wireless charger. And this is a really good wireless charger uh, because it just kind of slides in there and it gets out of your way and it lets you put other things there, maybe keys, maybe uh, maybe a tool that you're using or something, something different other than having it to take up your phone or an additional phone as well. So definitely loved the fact that we have it here and out of the way. Then we're talking armrest. This thing is massive, comfortable. Uh, stitching is really nice on this. We have that blue again. Um, and when you open it up, we have a ton of storage uh, in here. We have another set of USB-A and USB-C. And then the other thing that was a little confusing is we have your power hookup here. So there is a power hookup <clears throat> inside of the armrest. And it's inside of the armrest. And I'm a little confused because now instead of it being kind of out here, we're now having to run a cable through maybe uh, a seat or something, but it's now having to go through in here, which I don't know if that would be a better thing or a worse thing than just having it out here. Either way, that's where it is. Um, and then we have some two cup holders back here, which are really nice uh, and big for your people in the back. Now we get to the back and the back is really big. There is a ton of space back there. Um, I do have my kid's booster seat. Uh, if he didn't outgrow the uh, child seat, that would easily fit in there without a problem. So parents, this is definitely a great, a great vehicle for that. Um, pet owners, you do have a lot of space uh, for big dogs back there. Uh, you can lift up the back seat uh, or actually the, the, the seating area. You can lift it up for even more space if you want them to be on that side of things uh, or if you need to store or bring in a large item into the back. So it really, it, it really does give you a good amount of space back there. 
Then we get to the uh, truck bed and the truck bed is a truck bed. It has a good um, bed liner on it. Um, we have that tailgate, which I really, really love. Uh, very easy to use, very, you know, very practical, very ac actually useful, <laughs> which is the big thing um, for obviously a truck. Now let's talk performance. We're dealing with 6.2 liter Ecotech 3 V8 engine, cranking out 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. It is connected to the 10-speed auto and then to the Chevy 4x4 system. Now, this thing is pretty good. Now, as far as the engine, it's big V8, you know, big power. You can really, <laughs> you can really get it going and it has a good sound to it, good throaty sound to it. But the biggest improvement, or I don't know what it, it was with maybe the other Chevys, but this suspension, this front suspension has been a huge upgrade. I don't know if, uh, again, if, if it was really upgraded or if it was something else with the other ones, but this is, the front suspension on this with this wheel and tire package is extremely smooth. Small bumps no longer feel, you know, like r you're rattling the front of the truck and to the point where it feels like the, the wheels are not technically on the ground. Like, you know, you know that truck feeling? This doesn't have it. It's smooth. Um, my buddy goes, hey, how's the, how's the Silverado? Um, and he goes, and, and I told him, it's like having the Ram uh, air suspension but without the expense of having to pay extra for a RAM suspension or maintenance for a RAM air, well, not even RAM, but just a air suspension or even, um, you know, repairs for an air suspension because things happen. More components, you know, are, are likely to, to fail with that kind of uh, setup. But with this, no, you have just traditional coil and shock and this thing is incredibly smooth. My wife is such, you know, when it comes to suspension and, and feel, she's extremely sensitive to how, you know, a, a vehicle rides and not a single peep about how this drove, which is a good thing. It's an extremely good compliment, uh, Chevy. So, so take it for what it is because this is incredible. Yeah. I, I know I spoke a lot about the suspension, but I, 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 it deserves it. It really does. The steering wheel feels really great. Like I said, that V8 engine really can get this big truck going. Um, and it sounds really good. The uh, fuel economy, um, we'll, we'll put it down here because I, I don't know how heavy my wife has been driving. Uh, and obviously we've been driving a little bit not so eco-friendly, so to speak, but um, just to, you know, cause that V8 just sounds so good and it kind of makes you wanna, wanna go. But yeah, um, this thing has been incredible. Now with this being about $69,000, um, it's not bad. I mean, it's not, I, I know, I know I'm gonna hear it, wow, 69,000, that's a lot for a truck. But this is more on the luxury side. You know, we have all the high country trims. Uh, the badging is really nice. The leather is just so soft. It's just a really good luxury truck. Um, and it works really well as an actual truck as well. And you know, it's we have great technology in here um, that was very, very overdue. <sighs> so Chevy, you've now really tossed up the which pickup do I want to try uh, do I want to get a uh, kind of game for me um, really high up was the Ford because of the infotainment system because of the value uh, the price on it was you know for different ones that we were testing out wasn't bad but honestly uh, I think you guys are back on top because this is what I always complained about on the Chevys. It looked outdated. It had a small screen. Um, the, the gauge cluster wasn't giving me the information that I would have really wanted. Say if I were to tow, you know, a, a vehicle or something, but yeah, you guys have uh, fixed that. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed my review of the 2022 Chevy Silverado. And remember, Find the right gear. See ya.